Hey you guys, uh, Lacey and Steve here with Duo Reacts. Steve and Lacey. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching our video. We are watching Game of Thrones, season five, episode two. And we're just coming off of doing a, just a super quick live stream for you guys. That's right. Um, so we don't have anything really to go over, so we're just gonna get right into the episode. Yep, let's. Do Let's it. Do Arya! That's my art. In old times, whenever drama stood in danger. <laughs> Don't be afraid. He's announcing our arrival. I'm not afraid. She looked up, that's when I realized she wasn't afraid. That is a pretty awesome statue, though. <coughs> if I can talk. Jack and Hagar gave me this. No one here by that name. Please. Across the narrow sea. I have nowhere else to go. You have everywhere else to go. But wait! <laughs> same place mm -hmm. you are becoming an observant young lady since the stock don't look sure. she's by the hand it's her she's sitting with peter baelish little finger a bunch of nights with him bunch with a bunch of bunch of six twenty ten i think too many lady sansa before your mother's death i was her sworn sword I gave my word I would fund you and protect you. I will shield your back and keep your counsel and give my life for yours if need be. I swear it by the old gods and the new. Ah, yes. You were accused of killing him. I tried to save him. But you were accused? By men who didn't see what happened. And what did happen? He was murdered by a shadow. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. A shadow? With the face... Sometimes we don't have a choice. And sometimes we do. You should leave. We don't want our new friend wandering the countryside alone. The roads in these parts are safe. Why don't you stay? She 
beat the Hound, I'm pretty sure she can beat those three. Right. Pretty sure of it. Or everyone in that place. Or everyone in that. <laughs> so she can get every fucking chicken in this room? Yep. <laughs> Podrick is the one to worry about. Until. Poor Pod. You're going to get yourself killed around there. All right. Guess that means you're unarmed. Oh, Patrick? Is it just me or does Brienne seem like she's getting even more badass? Just a little bit. I mean, she just like wiped that off on her sleeve and... Time to start. Worry of strangers that she should be. I saw her riding on the east road with Littlefinger. We'll follow them. Well, lady... If both Stark girls refused your service, maybe you're released from your vow. I swore to their mother I would protect those girls. But if they don't want your protection... Do you think she's safe with Littlefinger? Exactly. Get your horse. What's there are only two like it in the world. The one I'm wearing, the one I gave to myself. Mm. It's a threat. Of course it's a threat. Our daughter's alone in dawn, surrounded by people who hate our family. You're going to dawn. A one-handed man. Alone. You never said I was going alone. I know where he's taken. Who? Brown. No sunflowers. Oh, I don't like yellow. Roses are very nice, definitely roses. And music, I adore music, huh. but no flutes. I hate flutes. We can have a harp if you like, but no flutes. Who's that? <laughs> Jamie fucking Lannister. <laughs> She's Jamie? like, well, hello, it's Jamie Lannister. <laughs> I was very sure. But you're going to come with me and help me with something important. And when we return, I'm going to give you a much better girl and a much better castle. <laughs> return from where? As far south as south goes. Fritos. Remove you yourself from my path or I take that long axe and I'll shut it. Oh, Cersei too? <laughs> That's Oberyn's woman, remember? Your mother was murdered. Mm -hmm. And you sit here in the water gardens, staring at the sky and doing nothing. Oberyn was slain during a trial by combat by law that is no murder. Your brother? You don't have to remind me. He was my brother long before he was anything to you. What will you do about his death? I will bury him. I will mourn for him. And then? Someone has forgotten fear. And has forgotten how to hide. Fear is useful that way. I will not have the son of the Harvey executed without a fair trial. I return to the capital to pay my respects to my brother and to you and to serve the king. I did not return to the capital to serve a your puppet 
to watch him stack the small council with sycophants. Sycophants. Sending your own brother away to... I do not that guy's gonna end up dead. To dictate what is and Kevin? is not yep. my concern. You are the Queen Mother. Nothing more. You're dead. You'd abandon your king in his time of need. If he wants to send for me, I will be waiting for him. At Castle Rock. Yep. No one talks to Cersei like that. <laughs> Yeah, I ordered Max Ray to burn at the stake. You prevented that order from being carried out. You showed mercy to Max Raider. The king's word is law. Perhaps you should ask the Davos how much mercy I show to lawbreakers. Show too much kindness, people won't fear you. If they don't fear you, they don't follow you. Kneel before me. Lay your sword at my feet. Pledge me your service and you'll rise again as John Stark, Lord of Winterfell. We'll make you a Stark with the stroke of a pen. It's the first thing I ever remember. I don't remember. believe he's truthful. Oh, he is. I dream that my father would ask the king. He absolutely would. Just like that, we'll never be the bastard of Winterfell again. Legitimize him. He deserves this. You do. I couldn't be happier for you. I'm going to refuse him. He'd be Lord of Winterfell. Why? I swore about the Night's Watch. So I'm taking the word seriously. What sort of Lord of Winterfell would I be? Why is he refusing? Yeah. Because he'd be going against his vow, basically. Well, he, or he, I think we were serving venison stew. Got that Ned Stark <laughs> honor thing, though. Sir Alistair Thorne is not just a knight, he's a man of true nobility. Oh, shut up. He's a commander when the war came under attack. Slint. And led us to victory against the wildlings. Yeah, hey, you're a good fighter, but you're a dickhead. He has been a dickhead. He's been a defender of the watch yeah. and the war almost all of his life. And you hid. He's and the only true choice. You are a pussy. Say it, Sam. So tell us. Each Mr. Raymond. Samuel Charlie, go on. Sam the Slayer. <laughs> Another wildling lover, just like his friend Jon Snow. How's your lady love, Slayer? Slayer. Her name is Gilly. But the Slint knows her quite well. They cowered together in the larder during the battle for the wall. Yes. <laughs> a wildling girl, a baby, and Lord Janus. I found him there after the battle was over, in a puddle of his own making. <laughs> Whilst Mr. Raymond's up there Lord like Janice was hiding with the women and children. Jon Snow was leading. Sir Alistair fought bravely, it is true. But when he was wounded, it was John who saved us. He took charge of the wall's defence. He killed the Magna of the Thens. He went north to deal with Mans Raider. No one who almost certainly meant his own death. He did. Before that. He led the mission to avenge Lord Commander Mormon. Mormon himself chose John to be his steward. He saw something in John, and now we've all seen it too. He may be young, but he's the commander we turned to when the night was darkest. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, can't argue with any of them. But who does Jon Snow want to command? Night's Watch? Or the Wildlings? Everyone knows he loved a wildling girl. He spoke with Mance Raider many times. What would have happened in that tent between those two old friends? Wow, well, it's close. Isn't it? Yeah. Very close. Like, exactly the same, it looks like. Sir Alistair. <laughs> I don't think time, No. That's between John and Alistair. It's all up to him. For who? John Snow.
Okay. No, I'm still reacting to uh, Jon Snow getting it. I'm a little surprised. Yeah. Guess That's... who the new Lord Commander is. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Arya looks so much older right there. Where's he got that? I said. Turn around and go. What number are we up to? And go. That's a nice little sword. Six, seven, eight. Worth a hundred pieces of sword like that. Nothing's worth anything to dead men. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and then turn around and walk away. Who are you? Oda. Why were they scared? Not Yoda, Oda. You lost this. <laughs> Through the water. I freaking knew it. She knew that the that no, guy was him. But I knew he something was up. There isn't. A man is on Oh, this is awesome. Who are you then? No one. And that is what girl must become. Okay, don't be saying trickery words. <laughs> she said or he said I am no one. And that is who a girl must be. I mean, it was kind of bland on, like, I'm just being honest. Okay. I'm Probably listening. one of my least favorite episodes thus far, but we okay. just got off a super huge season four. Yeah, that's true. And I know they're building dialogue. I know that. Yeah. Uh, gr good thing. Uh, John just moved up, but what does that mean? More, he's going to be he's... making decisions, and he has kind of a... Um, a political adversary in Alicer. Yes. Yeah. So ask me other questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Paula C. Paula C. Uh, when John shot an arrow through Mance's heart last episode, we mm -hmm. all thought Stannis would be full of rage about it. 
Instead, he offered to legitimize John and make him a Stark so that John would could recruit the northern families to support Stannis against the Boltons. Right. How different is Ned's code of honor, doing what is right regardless of the outcome, versus Stannis's code of duty, doing what needs to be done to achieve what you know what you know is your duty to do. So how different is Ned's code of honor versus Stannis's code of duty? Sorry, the alarm's going off. I can't answer this right now. I'm kidding, Paula. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, you know, Ned, um, as I said, his death was because due to his loyalty in the end. So Ned, I, I, I think... He had a, the, the same kind of code to do to to do what needs to be done as well, because okay. he had the code of duty and the code of honor thing. The, and, and yeah, he he had a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, as to where he was beside the king, he could, he should have told him, and he was doing what was right versus what he knew needed to be done. Yes. Right. But then again. He's also... But he had the balance. He balanced it. Yes. Yeah. Where Stannis is... Whereas Stannis doesn't necessarily balance it. He just... He has, like, more of a one-track mind. They're a lot alike with a little bit in difference. With just a little... Okay. Yeah, asterisk by Stannis being more deliberate. Okay. In his... More deliberate and more, like, to the book. You know? Yeah. He does everything by the book. But I like how John also said... That none of them will bend the knee to you, so there's that. So you can try all you want. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Stannis, I kind of liked his uh, character in this one. Um, well, you. I like- had to take in a lot of dialogue, so you know, a lot of this is going to be probably, you know, initial. Yeah. Yeah. So I think what I took out of that was my, my respect level for Stannis kind of came up because he's he's starting to put pieces in. To you know, in other places, um, the wildlings. I think you know, going forward, this is just my assumption. He's gonna find that right hand man for, of the wildlings to kind of try and convince him to work together and give them, you okay. know, kind of what they've all been looking for as well. Stannis or John? Stannis. Stannis. St- okay. Stannis wants John to obviously. He, I mean, he always like, has control of the wall. Yeah, now, yeah. Now he does. Yeah. I don't know how that would play into also being. He can't. Yeah. He can't. He, he, can't, he can't do can't. both. Yeah. But we'll have to see how that kind of works out. Okay. But they've got a lot of uh, things coming. I think this season that it's going to get wild before it. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Um, I know I'm I kind of enough. all over the place, but... All right, well, let's bring it to one more frame here. Yep. Uh, Argus Strav. Argus! This season sees a lot of characters having to make hard choices. Did Danny make the right decision executing the former slave? No. Okay, why not? Because she's hanging around with that guy. <laughs> What's his nuts? Dario Naharis. Dario Naharis. But in a serious answer, because I don't... No. He, okay. What was that from Argus? I, Argus. Argus, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think a lot of her, even how she's acting right now, it isn't the same as when Jorah was around. Okay. So you think that she's being overly... I don't think maybe, her decision making is, is quite as, like powerful or like because she has lost that maybe she's lost that confidence since i've said it during the 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 video we were watching yeah i said she seems off she seems not right you see it in her eyes and you can see at the end of the episode when drogon comes up to her and snips her and then flies away there isn't he doesn't he even drogon is like there you're not the same right now. You're not right. Yeah, something's not right. So there's she's something. Off. She's off, and maybe it does have something to do with Jorah. Maybe it has something to I'm do with. I'm telling you, 
the I, fact that she's maybe lost that confidence. I'm going to ask uh, the people, do they agree with me? Does she seem off since Jorah left? Because she is not the charismatic uh, person that I would want to follow at this moment when she's a little bit... Uh, her her she best seems asset lost. is... She seems lost. Let's just word it that way. In her own head. She's, I think she's very off. Yeah. She's ma- I, I think her lying with one of her henchmen or, you know, protectors, close. Okay, prote- okay. So the fact that she's hooking up with Dario, you think, is a mistake? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, okay. if it was someone else that d- wasn't part of her immediate... Inner circle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I find him as maybe, and I hate to say this, he's probably dedicated as all get out. He, he's obviously, he'll do but whatever But he she might says. be a bad influence, maybe. I, I think when you're trying to lead or whatever from the front like she is, to have someone that close to also be her word of reasoning yeah, may not always be the good, you know. Okay. There, there's a husband and wife relationship or a lover and wife, you know what I mean, whatever yeah. it is. And then there's um, a professional or a, a duty to, you know, run kingdoms. And I don't know that when you put two people that can think alike. So don't miss, mix yeah. the personal and yeah. the private life or the work life and the home life yeah. is basically what you're saying. In, in, okay. a, in a huge situation like that where many are affected and the outcome is what just happened, she should have had the Joras, the... You know, okay. I don't know. I no, don't know I get it. Sense, I get it. Uh, it's just how I feel for last, her. Yeah. Last question Fernanda Ortiz. Fernando Ortiz. Fernanda. Fernanda. Uh, Ortiz. Hi from Argentina. Hi, Argentina. Argentina. This is for after episode two. Steve, what do you think about Maester Eamon's decision? Uh, are we off? No, we're still going. Oh. What do you think about Maester Eamon's decision in the Lord Commander's election? And then also, why do you think he chose John? So what do you think about his decision? His decision? His decision? His decision. His decision. What do you think about John being Lord Commander? I can't Commander? pronounce anybody's name in this, and she can't pronounce words. I can't pronounce basic words, you know? Yes. But yeah, so what do you think about Maester Eamon's decision to choose Jon Snow as the new Lord Commander? Well, look, uh, when the old Lord Commander was around mm-hmm. and Master Eamon, they were kind of the the go-to people. Yes. Am I correct? Yes. Um, his decision, I think, is, is the correct one. I think that he realizes that Jon has the natural ability to lead and do the right things and he's more normal and i think that's what he wants he wants normalcy there okay and um he's a good judgment judge 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 a character character. now once again when they're sitting there have the election uh, you know i love that sam said yeah Sir Alistair, you know... Like he stopped fought. everything and... He, he, but he, he also gave him props. Yes. He said he did fight hard. And I said that even during that... that I was like, wow, that dude... Can... If he'd have showed any other reason than that... Yeah. You know, even though he hated Johnny, he probably has his own reasons for that. But if he can get over his own little messed up, yeah. they, they could be a really good force together and, and well, i agree yeah you know if there's be. anyone that could break through that it'd be john but i just don't know i mean this guy is going to be like i was supposed to take that i'm the next one in line i should have done it and i can see why where he gets at but that's not how everybody felt and everybody right. was kind of divided so we st- we we got a little bit going it on looks there. like it's about half and half to be honest of yeah yeah so he has his people John basically has. So you his think people. he's gonna cause a problem potentially well, going forward? Maybe. Look, when you have that type of an election in a very, very um, hostile environment, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find out too, because it'll be coming. Well, what what's coming? You know, 
What's coming? <laughs> It'll be coming where we'll find out if Alistair Thorne and his side, or, you know, people who backed him, if Alistair's going to give Jon Snow a hard time, or if they'll be able to work together. Yeah. You know? Well, like I said, if there's anyone that's going to uh, bring unity, it'll be Jon, because he has the ability to... Um, do I think bring people around. Do you think he made the right decision to not accept Stannis making him a Stark? Because Stannis no. probably would have been like, I will pardon you for leaving the Night's Watch and going to become Lord of Winterfell. You know, he well. would have he would have pardoned him. He would have still been breaking a vow, but he would have been he would not have been executed because Stannis would have pardoned him. So he could have been the Lord of Winterfell right now as Jon Stark instead of Jon Snow. Well, they'd have to go kick or, what's his nuts well, his face all over the place. Yeah, I mean, there's Well, of still, course I want to see that because uh, they got some wackos over there. At, yeah, well, yeah. And, yeah, I would have loved to see Jon go back and, and deal with that. So do you think that was kind of like a... You're too honorable at this point if you're going to say, no, I'm not going to accept because I am a lord, man of the Night's Watch and I made a vow. So he's kind of reminding me a little bit of Ned Stark at this point with being, you know, but... I don't think you can be hat one foot in, one foot out, you know, where you're not supposed to sleep with anybody and leave or this and that. And he's done all this. Right. I mean, Sir Alistair has kind of... A point. He does. As much as I love John. Right. Okay. And I forgive him, but... He's saying, like, you're... Who does he want to be... Who does he want to rule? Us or the wildlings? Like, yep. And I... Yeah, I mean, that's something to to think about but the one thing John can do is he can bring people together so he has good traits but I see where Sir Alistair is coming from and to be honest with you if I was him I might have a case of the ass too okay. coming from his angle coming from his perspective when you yes. think about what he's thinking about he's thinking about we've been fighting these wildlings our entire lives yep and you're sleeping with them. You're sleeping with, with them one. with one, and you're showing mercy to their king, and you know your buddy buddy. You know, so I can kind of see where he's coming from, but he also has a very closed mind. Yes, very. And I'm I'm personally not like that at all. So, but I can see his perspective for sure. Yeah. So. And I guess okay. you, ha you have to have an open mind to see it from every angle. And but, that's what makes for a better leader in the fact that he's now Jon Snow is going to be Lord Commander. That makes for a better leader when you're more open-minded about things and not so close-minded like Alistair. Close-minded so, will ruin a lot of things. Yeah. If you're not open to uh, suggestion, right? you're really not. Then, yeah, it's... Yeah, that's kind of like a Mad King sort. No, yeah. I mean, that's a little extreme, but it's like my way or the highway. Well, it's a tyranny. It's not a... Exactly, yeah. exactly. But, well, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode because we're going to watch another one. Yep. <laughs> um. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like this video. Leave your comments and questions below. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell. And you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Hope amazing happens to you. Peace out.